welcome to the new Easy Vent, the most complete, intuitive and flexible fan selection in the market. In SNP, we have worked for three years to develop a new selection site with innovative features that makes product selection easy. The new Easy Vent displays various catalogues, makes selections with new filters, displays dynamic curves, shows the 3D product image and safe selection to a project. This video describes the operation of EasyVent. After accessing the S&P selection portal, go to the main menu at the top right to select the language. In this section, we can also register by entering our email address and password. Once registered, the user settings can be accessed and modified according to personal preferences. In the next step, we will see how to access the datasheet of a product. From the Catalog menu, click on the Select this Catalog button. This will give us access to all the series included in that catalog. To access all the products of the selected series, select the View Series button. We can refine our search results, deselecting all the filters which appear by default and activating other filters that we find more convenient, thus narrowing the product choice. To preview the datasheet, we have two options. Select the magnifying glasses or double-click on the product line. When clicking on the View This Fan button, we access the product datasheet. In this case, there are no working points selected since we are looking at the datasheet of the product with no prior selection. Let us see how to get to a selection from the catalog section. From this point, we pre select some series in order to be able to make a selection. We open the categories and select the series we are interested in. Note that when selecting several series, they are stored in the upper group with the appropriate selector icon. Once the series have been selected, we click on the Continue button in order to access the selector's menu. Note that in this example, in the Vent Selector, we have pre-selected five products. We go into the Vent Selector. In the Selection filter, the series we selected previously appear pre-selected. We can further refine the selection by using two more filters. Advanced filters common to all the series which allow us to pre-select the frequency and the motor phase or to use the tolerance bar in order to increase it or reduce it. To scroll the bar, we can use the left mouse button or if we want to be more precise, the arrows on the keyboard. If we have selected axial fans, we can access the specific axial filters and modify, for example, the set diameter, the type of motor needed, the number of poles or even the type of casing. Once all the required filters have been selected, we can enter a specific airflow and pressure and then click on the Select button to initiate the search. In this case, we obtain 34 selection results in two pages. As before, from the catalogue, we can view the products by clicking on the magnifying glasses or by double-clicking on the line. We now close the magnifying glasses. We can use a fan comparison area to assist us in our choice. In order to do this, we select a line by left-clicking on it and dragging it into the area set up for this purpose. As we can see, the selected product is added and its curve appears in the right-hand side area. In order to make a comparison, we add another fan to the same area so that we can see the two curves superimposed. This system allows us to choose the most appropriate selection for us. We can also preview that fan by using the magnifying glass as previously described, or eliminate the fans from the comparison area using the crosses located to the left of the line. Now we will see how to access the datasheet of the product. We select the magnifying glass and choose the option View this fan. We will access an area of technical specifications which corresponds to the working point previously selected 
and we will also obtain selection results with all the technical specifications of the product. If required, we could change the working point again directly from the curve. We can see how the airflow and the pressure keep moving. By clicking on that curve, we can make a selection again. The variables are modified depending on the point selected. The quick menu allows us to access several sections. Right now, what we see is the technical specifications corresponding to this section. If we want to add an accessory to the fan, we click on Accessories. We haven't selected any accessories yet. If we click on the indicated area, a window will appear with all the accessories available for that fan. In order to see the information for that accessory, we will use the magnifying glass in the same way as we did to view the product. We can specify the number of accessories and save the changes. When we return to the accessories area, we can see the selected units. We can also review the acoustic specifications and the dimensions. Additionally, if we click on the icon, we can view a 3D image. Now we will see how to make a selection without going through the catalog menu. In order to do this, we need to go to the selectors menu. We arrive to the same screen that we saw previously but without having made any selection for this selector. We now click on the vent selector. From the selection filter we can select the series we are interested in. The category wall mounted extractors appear selected by default but we can activate or deactivate selections in order to choose the most convenient fan for us. Similarly we can use the advanced filters in order to adjust the parameters. Finally we include flow and pressure and click on the Select button. To print the selection we just made, we click on Print. A window will appear where we can select several print settings. To access the PDF, we click on Print. We have the option of adding the product we just selected to our project by clicking on the Add to Project button. After giving our project a name, we click on the Create and Save button and access the project area. We can enter the client details and access the list of products. Note that the product that we added is already on the list. In order to edit this project, we need to click on the pencil icon. We will access a window where we can find the product code, its description and quantity. Here we can increase or decrease the quantity apply a price or a discount, etc. To save the edited options, click on the Update button. If before finishing we want to continue selecting products, we click on the Selectors icon and proceed with a new selection. In this example, we added the first one by selecting the Add to Project button. When clicking on the View Project button, we can see that the fan has been added to our project list. We update and close and the project is completed. Finally, we can save the project once we have added all the convenient products to it. Now we can print it by clicking on the PDF icon and completely close the project. Note that the project name no longer appears next to the vent icon and we can return to that same selector, go to catalog, go to start or log out. With EasyVent, you will discover a unique market-leading global selection site. Welcome to EasyVent.